All right, everyone, welcome back. This is part two or a follow up video to my last video. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, please go back and watch it. It's a great video. I, I share a lot of info in there about these two wrestling events that happened 21 years apart, but how this new event that happened yesterday is tied to uh, the, basically this this upcoming next 9-11, this twin 9-11. I'm going to call it the twin 9-11, okay, because it's going to be, we need the other twin, okay? So we already had one twin, we already had one event, we just need the twin event to happen. So anyways, guys, this is just a recap of what I talked about in my last video. So there was an event in 2001, 22 days before the attacks on 9-11, Kurt Angle sprayed the Alliance with milk. Okay, so 22 days, which is the twin twos, and twins equals 22, and 22 days before the Twin Towers came down, Kurt Angle sprays this group with milk, okay? Now, he repeats the same thing yesterday on December 9th, with 22 days left in the year on his own birthday, and he sprays another group with milk. So again, 22 days the first before the 9-11 uh, attacks, he does the first time, and then 22 days before the end of 2022, he does the second time. Okay, and I talked about a lot of things here, so please go back and watch. I talked about how both groups that got sprayed at different times had a three cipher match, 90, 45, and 63. Okay, I talked about how it was tied to the terrorist attack and the group that got sprayed during Milkomania, is what they called it. I also talked about these two guys. Chad Gable and Gable Stevenson, who were involved in yesterday's Milkomania, and they have the same name Gable, which is a tie to the milk that they use that they use in this ritual, because Gable and milk, but also to the Freemasons, because a gable is a triangular portion of a wall between two edges of intersecting roof pitches, and again, the Freemason symbol is a triangle, a square and compass, measuring. And again, this is all about perfect measurements and builders. And again, a gable is a, a triangular shape on a house, a, bil a building. So it's not a coincidence that both of these guys are named Gable. Okay, And of course, Gable starts with a G and the Freemasons love the G and they love the triangles. And again, that's what a gable is. So both guys named being Gable. Remember, all three guys, Gable, Chad Gable... Gable Stevenson and Kurt Angle, just like an, an angle, like in their in their symbol is an angle, were all Olympic athletes, okay? America, founded by Freemasons, right? George Washington with the G, okay? And I'm I connected how Gable Angle is a match to Master Builder, and Gable Freemason is also a match to the Square and Compass. And I tied it to the identical twins because the Twin Towers came down and 22 days before the Twin Towers came down, Kurt Angle sprayed milk, okay? So now let's get into the new information because this is all about the twin symbolism in Freemasonry. They love the twin pillars, the Yachin and Boaz, or Boaz and Yachin, okay? And this is also part of the Bible, Solomon's Temple, the first temple in Jerusalem, okay? But anyways, this is why the Twin Towers are so big and the Twin Symbolism, Boaz and Yachin. And before I get into the Twins, I want to talk about one more thing about wrestling that year. I just told you that 22 days before the Twin Towers came down, Kurt Angle sprayed milk. Okay, but what about what happened one day before 9-11-2001? Well, one day before 9-11-2001 was 9-10-2001, and there happened to be a WWE show that night. It was called Raw is War. Think about that symbolism. Raw is War. <laughs> and what happened after the events, we got into a war. And so it was called Raw is War, and it took place in Free Man. Get it, guys? Free Man, like Freemason. Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio, Texas. And just notice, guys, that if you type the whole thing, Freeman Coliseum, San Antonio, Texas, it equals 119. 
And remember, guys, this episode aired literally hours before the attacks on 9-11. And the place that it took place equals 119, and that happened on 119. Not only that, guys, but the Freeman Coliseum equals 62, just like the thing, the things that got taken down that next day, World Trade Center. It's not a coincidence that the show right one day before the Freeman Coliseum is a direct match to the World Trade Center, and it has the 119. And remember, next year, guys, in 2023... San Antonio is going to be crossed by two eclipses. They're, they're literally on an X next year. So again, this could be also tied to the San Antonio connection. But again, guys, what a script, right? Now, let's get into this because the next major thing I want to talk about here is Elvis and his twin that died at birth. Again, guys, more twin symbolism. But I want to really give a big shout out to Jurassic, Jurassic, like spelled G E W G. J E W Rassic Liars on YouTube. Go check out his channel. He's the one that has been studying Elvis and the twin symbolism for years. And he's the one that gave me a lot of this information. But I want to point out some things that I found very interesting. I just told you that Yachin and Boaz are the two twin pillars of Freemasonry. Well, notice that twin pillars equals 54, like Yachin and Boaz. Okay? So what are the chances that the two twin pillars of Freemasonry have direct match to the twin pillars? Not only that, guys, but twin pillars is a direct match to Elvis and Jesse. And Elvis and Jesse were the two twins that were born on January 8, 1935. One of them was Jesse, who died at birth. Remember, what happened on the 9-11, guys? It was the one went down. Well, two of them went down, but one went back up. So Elvis was the one. Jesse was the one that didn't go back up, right? So again, what are the chances, guys, that Twin Pillars and Yachin Boaz are direct matches to Elvis and Jesse, the identical twins, okay? Also, guys, Elvis equals 6722 like Jesse equals 6722, and they all equal 22 like twins. So what are the chances, again, guys, that they're both the twins and they're Twins equals 22, Jesse equals 22, and Elvis equals 22. Okay, I just told you that Kurt Angle sprayed that milk 22 days before the Twin Towers went down. Okay? And if that weren't enough, let's talk about another set of twins. In the Bible, you have the twins of Isaac and Rebekah. And this is in Genesis Their names are Jacob and Esau. And um, basically, there's a lot of you guys should just go read the story about Jacob and Esau and how Jacob stole Esau's birthright. So Esau was already always... Basically, they were always fighting, these two twin brothers. And they were twins, okay? Just like Elvis and Jesse. But notice that Freemason is 96, just like Jacob and Esau. And again, I just told you that the symbol, Jachin and Boaz, also matches with the other set of twins, which is Elvis and Jesse, Okay? And now you have this biblical set of twins that matches Freemasonry and how they love their twins. All right. So let's talk about more. Identical twins is a direct match in three ciphers to Jacob and Esau twins. Okay. Remember, I told you they were just twins in the Bible, and they were they were twins, and it's a direct match to twins Jacob and Esau. All right. Also. I believe that 9-11 was the original event and we're going to have its twin event, its similar event, right? And notice that the words twin 9-11 events equals 162, like identical twins. Remember, guys, June 11th, 2022 is the 162nd day of the year, all right? Also, Elvis Aaron Presley, his full name equals 216, like identical twins, But also notice that Elvis and Jesse equals 90, like identical twins, and like twins Jacob and Esau. All right? Next, from the day that these two twins were born, Elvis and Jesse, and then then Jesse dies that same day. From the day they were born, January 8th, 1935, 
It's 66 years and 246 days, which is just laughable because twin equals 66. What are the chances that these twins were born exactly 66 years before the twin towers went down? And what are the chances that they were born 246 days into their 66th year and the Freemasons love their square and compass, which equals 246. You see what I'm talking about, guys? And notice that twins, Yachin and Boaz, equals 66, like twin. Also, Super Bowl LVII, which is this year's Super Bowl. And it's going to be all about the twin symbolism, I believe. Notice that the Super Bowl LVII has two eyes at the end, like two twin towers at the end. It equals 66. Okay? So I just want you guys to understand this clear symbolism. What are the chances that it's 66 years, 246, and square and compass equals 246, and twins equals 66? It's a perfect free race, Freemason ritual. Okay? Also, I just told you that square and compass, they were born 66 years and 246 days before 9-11, and square and compass equals 246. Well... On Jesse's gravestone, it's spelled Jesse with a Jesse uh, with an I in it. Okay, but you can find a lot of articles online where it's spelled with the regular way, J E S S E. But I'm going to decode both ways because if you spell it the normal way, Jesse Garone Presley equals 246 like square and compass. Okay, but if you spell it the way it's on his gravestone, it equals 264, which is the same numbers. If you spell it the wrong way. So either way you spell Jesse Garon Presley, it has the 2, 6, and 4 in it, and square and compass equals 246, and they were di- and the twins' towers came down 246 days into their 66th day of, uh, uh, 66 year of their life if they were still alive on that day. You see what I mean? And if that were enough, let's go over a few more things. So from June 11th, or from September 11th, 2001, to what I think is going to be the twin day of 9-11, June 11th, 2023, it's 7943 days. And what's interesting about those amount of days, guys, is that 7,943 has a divisor of 611, which is the date that I'm measuring to, June 11th. 611 times 13 is 7,943. Okay, and the 13 is obviously a huge number in America because we started with 13 colonies. The 13 is huge. So the fact that you multiply 611 times 13, and that's the number you get, that's the amount of days between uh, 9-11 and June 11, 2023. Okay. Another thing is, guys, from the day these twins were born... Not only was it 66 years and 246 days, which I already told you, it's also 32296. We all know about the 322, which is the skull and bones. And remember, the president of the time during 9-11 was a skull and bones member, George W. Bush. And their number is 322. But from literally from Elvis and Jesse's birthday to June 11, 2023, is 32296. So this plays homage to both the Skull and Bones and Freemason because the 9-6 at the end is Freemason, which equals 96. Also, guys, anytime you see a 9 and a 6, you can flip it. So if you were to flip the 9 and the 6, you would get the 66, which is, again, tied to the 66 years uh, from Elvis and Jesse's first um, birth to the first 9-11, okay? And twin equals 66. So if you flip the... Now we're talking about the second 9-11, okay? And it's not a coincidence, I don't believe, that it's 32296 days from their birth to the twin 9-11, June 11th, okay? Another interesting thing here is that from 9-11-2001 to June 11th, 2023 is 261 months exactly, and... 261 is the reverse number of 162, which identical twins equals 162, and June 11th is the 162nd day of the year. And it's 261 months, which is 
the reverse of 162. Also, guys, I told you guys that the Super Bowl this year, Super Bowl LVII with the two eyes at the end, the two twin towers at the end, equals 66, like twin equals 66. And 119 days, guys, after the Super Bowl is June 11th. So just, just let that one sink in. And from Elvis's 88th birthday this year and Jesse's 88th birthday this year, if they were still alive, to June 11th, 2022 is exactly 22 weeks. And I just started this decode showing you about the 22s and twins equals 22. And you're telling me that it's 22 weeks from their 88th birthdays to June 11th, 2022. And I already showed you that it's 119 days from the Super Bowl, which is all which is going to be all about twins. I think the Twin Cities, Minnesota, is going to be in the Super Bowl. Anyways, it's it's very clear, guys, that this is not a coincidence. I just started this sh episode showing you guys how the 22 was involved in the first 9/11, and it's not a coincidence. I don't believe that it's 22 weeks after the twins were born, and twins equals 22. And we'll just see what happens, but I'm just I'm just putting out the best information I can, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.